It's not I'm up to him. Yeah, it's not up to him. I'm lazy and I always just go, you want Strike or Dreamland? And usually we're just like, let's just do Dreamland starter. I well, always then, pages. Once yeah, we get I'll into best of five it. sets, it, it's going to be weird because you won't, according to the rule set, be allowed to go back to Dreamland for every match. Yeah, we broke that rule. There's, you can you can gentleman to whatever. Right. So if people want to play all Dreamland, they can. Oh, so he's like using uh, the stages that are available and trying to like mess around and push my advantage, you know? Like Falcon, Falcon has some really good stages. Yeah, that aren't for sure. If it's up to me, I just play Dreamland only. Like they're not even playing any of the Dreamland variants. Yeah, like that. Where's Saffron? Like, Saffron's really fun. Well, Saffron, it's movement on, so that platform moves. It's yeah. not just right. Dreamland. Yeah, yeah it's super. It's it's awesome. Are I like playing the Dreamland cool? variants in like friendly games. Yeah, me too. The Yoshi when I, one. When I just play on like a random custom stage, I feel like I'm not playing Smash 64 anymore. Yeah, a, like, a lot of people feel that way. So much of my game plan revolves around my knowledge of the Dreamland platform heights. Yeah. What about when we did our FPS4 winner semi set? Well, I mean, I was playing a remix character, so. Ah, uh, I know. see what you mean. But if, I play, if I'm playing like Ness, I don't want to play on a different stage other than Dreamland because I'm so much more comfortable doing like double jump. There's not a lot of tourneys. There's a tournament like twice a month. <laughs> there's literally two tournaments this week, and there was a tournament last week, and there's a tournament on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> not enough tourneys. No, yeah, not enough. It did seem like there was a period where it felt like that, but we're definitely ramping up and having a lot of tourneys now. Yeah, before then, we had weekly pools, but I guess not a lot of people knew about those. Or didn't, they eventually died, too, after 22 weeks or so. I did them for a while, <laughs> but... Why did that work? <laughs> if it's not even gotten hit yet. Ooh. Yo, is this... Oh, are so they're all the fresh. Energy? From you experience playing this matchup against energy. Boom, you can't play on the platforms at all, like his platform you play is too good as Fox to it. like even get a good hit in. I say that as he gets a hit on the platform, <laughs> but you know, like, Perfect. In, a, in a general sense, it's really hard to outmaneuver him on the platform. I think the more like grounded you play, the, probably the better for dealing with Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Three times on plats. <laughs> I know, right? This is the only hits he's yeah, landed. He didn't, he didn't get much off of it. You right? know, me, 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 and Chris are different Nest players, also. But yeah, it's like he didn't get like anything off of it. Just like straight hits. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I agree, right? Like, it, Ness is great on the ground. He gets to do his DJC stuff. Like, he's slow vertically, so it's hard for him to contest the platforms quickly. And Fox just has like huge hit boxes. And like the. The big like factor is that Boom is actually a comfortable dealing with Ness's weird movement gimmicks. He doesn't like fall for stuff usually. Yeah. Pretty good. They feel like they can be really hard to space around if you don't know. You just get caught off guard. For sure. Like years and years, I spent just playing uh, platform Ness, and not exploring ground options much. Until I like started playing with Boom a lot, and then it was like, oh, if my opponent really knows what they're doing, I can't just use platforms. Chris, you going. use platforms better than any other Ness, I think. I mean, at least in an A. Like you seem like you're at home with those plats and just like your movement, like perfect landing and then moving right after. It's very fluid. Well, yeah, like, I, I've been a platform nest for most of the time I've played Smash, but I don't, I think playing against Boom, it kind of exposes platform nests as being a gimmick. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's yeah, Platform nests, you just go platform. Kirby and then up tilt. <laughs> yeah, you can't fight Kirby on plots as nests at all. Or like Puff either, really, you have to take those characters out on the ground. The most underrated uh, platform character is Falcon. <laughs> Top plat Falcon is broken. He's good just because he's so fast. Flashbacks to Boom versus Derek at Gommel 2018. 
What if I just stick hop bear on top lap for 30 minutes? <laughs> I think I remember once watching a set between Narwhal and uh, Jim. And Narwhal's just sitting on top lat, and Jim was just sitting on the side, and it just went like that for a long time, and I was cracking up. <laughs> yeah, top oh. lat, top lat Falcon's really good. Yeah. It's good against Yoshi, it's good against Kirby. Wizzy knows. Not, not really good against Pika. Oh, oh yeah, Wizzy, Wizzy's experience. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that, um... That get up roll he did from lunch, there had to be a mistake. He like never want to do that over 100 roll as Kirby. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. It's almost bad as over 100 get up attack with DK. Almost. <laughs> so DK's is, is hilarious because he's still hanging out over the ledge while he's vulnerable. Yeah, he but just it, spike him. But as far yeah. as like your hitbox and everything, Fox's is, is hilariously bad. Like really? his his get up his get up attack off ledge, because he's yeah. he's completely vulnerable for like several frames before a hitbox comes out at all. Yeah, like, okay. I thought it was just for one frame. Is it, I thought it was I thought it was more than one, and he was know. like the only character where it was more than one. I think most characters they start being vulnerable on the frame their hitbox comes out, but the fox is like the frame before. So you can just yeah. put like any any lingering hitbox. Yep. Like there are there are setups with like nests where you just down smash uh, into his get up position. No, and it'll hit, like, dude. Everything except for his like normal get up and his normal get up will just get pushed back off the stage. Fox, Fox is nine frames of vulnerability. Oh really? Yeah, it's bad. First hitbox oh, is on sixty nine. Last iframe is on sixty. Oh, is yeah. over a hundred? Yeah, over a hundred. Oh, I thought you meant his like normal get up attack. His normal okay. one is it's. Yeah, first hitbox 24, last iframe 22. Chris Kringle uh, had an edge guard last stock and just kind of blundered it. You could have had the lead here, but now he's getting edge guard. It's actually like ball. deceptively difficult to edge guard Fox as Kirby just because Kirby's so freaking slow. Yeah. Hammer Heart is very good at it. Yeah. This is a lot closer for Chris Kringle <laughs> yeah, than that was. <laughs> yes, it's a lot closer. <laughs> Uh, he's doing the forward tilts though. Boom loves his forward tilts in this matchup. <laughs> uh, if only he was J Kirby. This looks like me. Oh, Ooh. another up tilt! <laughs> there, it is. there they are. Yeah, you can really just kind of bully Kirby with forward tilts if you're very good at it, like he is. Is that is that a really a better option than jab? Uh, after those yeah. lasers. I think so. I don't think jab uh, beats Blank. Kirby up tilt, does it? Yeah, that's the thing about it. 